happening. We now place ourselves in the loving presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your spirit and it shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful. Grant us by the same Holy Spirit to release what is right and just and always to rejoice in His consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, you Lord. Lord. Jesus said to His disciples, Beware that your hearts do not become drowsy from carousing and drunkenness and the anxieties of daily life, and that they catch you by surprise like a trap. For that day will assault everyone who lives on the face of the earth. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are imminent and to stand before the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Good afternoon, good evening, and good morning. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We have the Gospel of St. Luke. It is the end of the ordinary season, and we are to prepare ourselves for the Advent season, which starts practically this evening for those who have celebrated Mass. But it is a proper way of ending the proper of season, the ordinary time when the Lord says, be vigilant at all times and pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are imminent and to stand before the throne of God. He wanted us to remain vigilant, to be prepared, and to pray always. To be vigilant is to watch, to be prepared, to acknowledge, to love, and the things that we are doing for the Lord. It seemed like the day time wherein the Lord is coming to us. And so day and night, we have to be vigilant. We have to prepare. We have to make things ready for His coming so that when He comes, we are all present. We can say yes. We can say yes to Him who has called us. But still another, He wanted us to pray. Because the hour in which we are in time is not in accordance to his will, but according to the world. And the world is we see as so much dirty, so much parallelism, so much room for doubt and other things. And so we have to pray for us to be vigilant. We have to pray for us to be prepared. And we have to pray for us in order to accept the will of God. So much so that he says, do not let your hearts be drowsy. He focused on our hearts because he knows that our heart is internal. He knows that our heart is something that we can always have the imminent thing of good and imminent thing of bad. But he wanted us to be aware of the drowsiness of heart. And that's from carousing and drunkenness. Well, the two are always connected. The two are always linked to each other. Where there is carousing, the drunkenness is there. Where there is the drunkenness, the carousing is there. So much so that life has its own anxieties. And so when all these things come into our life, into our heart, the heart is impure. The heart is taken over. The heart is dirty, and we could not love the Lord with all our intentions because we are filled with that. So the Lord today invites us to be men and women that is always appealing to his word, that is following the word of God, that is always having God in our life so that at the end we will stand before the Son of God. 
the Son of God is the Lord Jesus. The Son of God is the parousia. The Son of God is everything. And the Son of, when the Son of God comes, may we remain firm and we stand firm with Him. Amen. 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 Almighty Father, Almighty Father, in the Lord Jesus Christ, in the Lord Jesus Christ, and through the Holy Spirit, and through the Holy Spirit, you have given Him to Him. You have given Him to us. You have given Him to us to proclaim the gospel. To proclaim the gospel. Today He reminded us. Today He reminded us. To be vigilant and to pray. To be vigilant, be vigilant and to pray. pray. To prepare always. To prepare, prepare always. And to unite our hearts with Him. And to unite our hearts with Him. He wanted us to tell. And He wanted, wanted us to tell. That our hearts would be freed from the evil thoughts. That our hearts will be freed from the evil thoughts. So that we can recognize you as our Lord and God. So that we can recognize you as our Lord and God. Freed from all drunkenness and carousness. Freed from all drunkenness and carousness. And anxieties in life. And anxieties in life. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, as we begin the Advent season, as we, as we begin the Advent season, and as we close the ordinary season of time, and as we close the ordinary season of time, give us all your intentions for us. Give us all your intentions above all our heart that is pure. Above all, Christ that is pure, vigilant and prayerful, vigilant and prayerful for your coming kingdom. For your coming kingdom. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, now that the hour of our death. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian, to whom God's love commits me here, the very day by my side, the light and God to rule and guide. Amen. Saint Hannibal, pray for us. Saint Anthony, Pray for us, Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Send, O Lord, the apostles to your church. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Thank you, Father. Good evening, Father. Welcome. Good evening, all. Good evening to all. Okay. The yung sa akin yung persevere and um pray. Pray. Okay. So um, ang nabasa ko kahapon hindi daw naman na dahil sinabi. You have to keep praying. Okay, keep praying. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean na yung pray na, na um, the act of praying itself. Because mm -hmm. according to the author, that is not possible. That you spend all your waking hours praying. Yung religious na act of praying. Okay? But um, the author said that... Uh, what is meant there is not the act, but the state, the state of praying. So throughout the day, we have to make sure that we are in connection with God, because when we pray, we are, we are talking with God. So yes. um, that it is, it is the state of praying, meaning that we are aware all the time. We are aware all, all the time of the intention in our heart to keep the connection with God open all the time, regardless of what we are doing, whatever we are 
we are doing, then when we are consciously keep, keeping that connection with God open in our hearts, then the intention to be with God is there. The intention to communicate with God is there. The, commun the intention to be one with God is there. And that is the state of prayer. It's not the act of praying, but it's the state of praying. And then, dito naman sa may gospel na to, today, yung ganun, ganun din, praying. Tapos, ang sinabi nung isang nabasa ko is, actually daw, when we do, when we pray really very well, para may, may level din kasi ng consciousness yung prayer. Prayer daw becomes supernatural vision. It's supernatural vision because pagka we are really in connection with God, then we see things that other people will not see. Not, not yung mga multo or what, but we, the consciousness becomes more open and we, we can see um, really what God wants us to do. I think that's the closest thing I can say. We, we can we can discern more easily what God wills us to do, at least for that time. And so, um, I this is this is this was an eye opener to me that because you see, I will akong oras na magdasal, okay, mahaba-haba naman ng prayers, okay, so like that. It doesn't have to be like that, pala. We should just try to keep in mind that we are always walking with God and we are always in communication with Him. That's my sharing for tonight. Amen. Yeah. Thank the, you, Tita. The act of praying and the state of praying could be just the same. And more important is what Tita is telling, their connection with God. So it is your connection to God, which comes either oral prayer, others are only used for oral prayer, others are used for meditation, oral to meditation, others are used to contemplation. So others can have the three gifts of uh, oral, meditation, and contemplation to have the conscious gift of God. So we allow ourselves for that. But of course, example, this one is a vocal prayer ang ginagawa natin. No? It's a vocal prayer with some explanations. And then uh, there we are. We, we train ourselves. We hang on to this. But later on, you will have your contemplation uh, for those who have contemplation or meditation for you to continue your prayer. So the state of prayer and an act of prayer could be just the same. But of course, when you are more differentiated, uh, then you can always have the difference about it. Thank you, Tita. Thank you, Father. So, the most, the most common, um, the most common that we do know, like, like we we are not really aware, no, na sa daily life natin, no? For example, siguro na uh, just uh, regular things, no, uh, doing regular things every day, no. Like, um, oh my Jesus, please uh, help me regard uh, before I do decisions or make decisions. Is it a prayer already, Father? Yeah, or, mm. or, or, already or, a Lord prayer. Jesus, help me. Maganyan yes, na. yes, yes. Oh my Jesus, it's a prayer. It's your accounting to the Lord. It's your act of to the Lord. You know, allowing the Lord to to uh. To take over. To be with you, to take over, to proceed with your own. And the Lord will be there to guide you. Oh. The Lord so will that, be there to guide you. So in that case, the prayerful, um, uh, um, uh, as you explained that, Tita Course, no, we can we can be in a prayerful uh, mode all day or 24-7. We can yeah. be, mm -hmm. like, just mm -hmm. open the connection. No? Oh. Very nice. No? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Tita, of course. You're welcome. So for others naman, there are moments of real meditation. 
that they connect with the Word of God and then meditate on it. Others naman, they have contemplation really and to the will of the Spirit, to the effects of the Holy Spirit, they get the superfluous gift of that. That's beautiful. And beautiful feeling. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful feeling. So all the things should be in prayer. All of our acts should be in a state of prayer. Either you act or you state. That's all. That's even prayers. Either you do it in vocal prayer and meditation and contemplation. There you are praying, allowing your connectivity with the Lord. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And with Amen. your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. Uh, well, beautiful. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Oh, that's, that's, we... the, that's the highest prayer. The so mass. The highest form, where does it belong to? Among the it, three belongs, that it belongs to the three. Because oh, in the oh, mass, you have oral, you oral. can meditate, and you have you can and contemplate. contemplate. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. oh. And that's so far the highest form of prayer. Where you can connect everything. Ang ganda, no? Ang ganda. Mm -hmm. uh, talking about the Holy Mass, Father, no? Um, which part of the mass or that very moment that the bread is tur uh, turned into the body of Christ? What instant, like what moment, what part? Hindi lang part, pero that moment na, na, na the, the bread is turned into the body of Christ. When, um, during, the, during the consecration. Kasi when, it when, is when the, during the consecration, tita, di ba? So when 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 the when the host is raised, that this is my body, body na yon. It, yeah. it has already turned into a body. Yeah, ano? that is transfer, ano? Transubstantiation. Transubstantiation. Mm -hmm. no? And when you uh, know, meditate on that or contemplate, you truly have the prayer. But all of these things are prayer itself. From the very beginning to the end. We, we pause for a while in silence. We listen. All of these things are happening in the Mass. The praising, petitions, mm -hmm. yeah, everything. Uh, go yes, ahead, Dr. Uh, Father, I don't know if the others have noticed this, but uh, siguro nga totoo yung sinasabi yung vibrations, no? Yung vibrations. Have you noticed na pag ang quality ng ang quality ng prayers mo or yung contemplation at least, no? Pag ikaw ay nasa perpetual adoration sa atin, at saka doon sa labas, ay iba. Parang, mm -hmm. parang sa, niniisip ko na siguro kasi, di ba nakakulong yung place na yon tapos mm -hmm. ang lahat ng taong pumapasok doon Ay, talaga, ang intention, ang intention talaga makipag-usap sa, makipag-usap na Jesus doon uh -huh. sa altar. Okay, so, mm -hmm. yung vibration is there. Nando doon lahat. Yung kumbaga, yung ano siguro, kaya, na ano ka rin ba, na-inspire ka. Ang ganda ng experience kasi, kasi kahit na hindi ka magdadasal, maupo ka lang doon. Somehow. Uh -huh. That's prayer, tita. Kahit maupo ka oh, lang doon. Nga, that's prayer. Eh, maupo of... ka lang doon. Uh -huh. Kahit yes. na without saying a word, Father, that's already. Yes. You are yeah. communing uh -huh. with God. You that's a prayer. To God. Oh, and the man. best prayer oh, is to sit down there and listen to Him. Yeah. Pero kasi minsan tayo, we all want to <laughs> have our intentions to be heard by Jesus. But the most important is allowing yourself to be in silence and listen to what the Lord tells you. That's beautiful prayer in silence. That's a contemplation even for others. 
So slowly, magkakaroon ka ng contemplation doon. From, from uh, oral prayers to meditation and then to contemplation, allowing yourself to be deterred by the Lord. Yeah. Hmm. Masarap matulong so, doon, Father. I'm yeah, yes, very, very, very nice. <laughs> very nice feeling, yeah. Oh, very, very nice feeling. kasi ng perpetual adoration chapter namin. You can Tapos, sleep with it uh, at times. You know? <laughs> oh, oh. Really kasi, nice kasi, Father, yung, yung bang nandudun ikaw, okay, you start praying. Mm -hmm. You start praying. And then you say, Jesus, I want to, I want just to sit here and be with you. And then you become so relaxed and so secure that you fall asleep. Mm -hmm. And I think... Okay lang yun. Mm, okay lang yun. yun eh. <laughs> Basta huwag ka lang siguro mag, mag <laughs> Ako hindi ako makatulog kung nakaupo. <laughs> Pero very, very, yeah, I agree it, of course, no? Uh, just sitting down there and then just uh, quietly sitting down there, um, uh, parang hindi ma-describe ang feelings. Inner mm -hmm. happiness talaga. Inner peace inner peace, inner happiness. And that's all for the Philippines, allowing the parishes to have the perpetual adoration. In fact, in Italy, they were so, ano, ano, uh, to us, no? Why we have that perpetual adoration, they could not do that one. And other countries, they are asking us, is it true oh. that Philippines uh -huh. has perpetual adoration? Yeah. And, uh -huh. you know, people are going to pray to uh -oh. be there with the Lord, to be there with Him. Uh -oh. And they, they keep on asking that one to us. Okay. I'm so blessed, no, na ang ad perpetual adoration dito ng, may isang perpetual adoration dito na, na siguro mga 10 miles away from me, um, 24-7. Yeah, that's good. 24-7. Mm -hmm. Very, mm -hmm. very nice feeling talaga. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I strongly ano no recommend kung may mga per, may mga adoration chapel kayo diyan no just try and then just sit down. Mag napakaganda. Yeah, of course. Huh? Napakaganda ng feeling talaga. Meron din sa mga simbahan ba just like dito sa simbahan ko dito sa parish um every first friday may may perpetual adoration exposure no may exposure just for one hour and then pagkatapos yan is tapos na. Pero iba that's kasi a, kung sa chapel lang. Kung sa chapel, that's adoration lang, tita. Oh. Adoration lang. Mm -hmm. Pero ang chapel is um, ang space, you, you become so intimate, intimate with Jesus talaga. You become so intimate. Yes. So, oh, ang gandang feeling. <laughs> and they call a sacred space, Father. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sacred, sacred space. space, holy place. You can call it any uh, any word you want, but there are also words of the of the church: sacred place, uh, holy place, tabernacle, the heart as the tabernacle, so on and so forth. You can have it called. Wow. Okay. Thank you very much, Father. So in the Advent season, pray more and prepare yourselves for the coming of the Lord. Amen. 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 Bye bye. Good night. Bye, bye Father. Thank, Thank you very much. Bye. 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 The three pointers for today's gospel. Number one, Jesus tells us to be watchful in practicing our faith at all times and not to be distracted by the norms and the secular values that influence our daily living. Number two, it is so easy to be caught up with negative and alluring influences, and especially during the festive season when the voice of the media is very loud and distracting. Number three, however, Christ must always be at the center of our lives so that we do not lose focus on him regardless of what we are going through in our lives. This is the surest and safest way 
of keeping close to him. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tita Lynn. So that ends our reflection today's reflection today's gospel and uh, the message is um, um just beware just beware be ready don't go get caught unaware but and unprepared so preparation this uh, season of, of advent no um preparation for the second coming so we know what to do just be prepared don't don't uh, be lured by material material things but so let's be vigilant amen amen okay. we can for the closing prayer okay <laughs> lord strengthen us today tonight and surround us with your favor and kindness thank you that during times of difficulty and distress you uplift us and sustain us Thank you for being our light and salvation. Amen. 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 And all together, please. Glory, Glory be to the Father, to the, Father, to the Son, to, to the Holy Son, Spirit, 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 as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now and ever, now shall be, be world without end. Amen. 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 Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Spirit. Son. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.